Hi, I'm Kerry Shi, CEO and co-founder of Ostream. I'm here at the OK Do booth, representing uh, some of the AI technologies that they're known for. OK Do is also very well known for the Rock series of uh, products that represent a very high availability in terms of supply chain and a very competitive price points and features to the Raspberry Pi series. What's the latest, latest with the Rock? The Rock 5B is the uh, the latest. Let's get over here. Yeah, it's a quad Cortex A76. It's got a six top NPU and uh, loaded with IO and everything you'd want for. Um, that is correct. All right, yeah. so it's the latest of the rock chips. Uh, the rock right. chips, which are just right there. So it's your partners. That is correct, yes. And then over here, we've got actually one of the first rock chip AI neural processors being used for media. So this is the Pipe Runner RKAI. So this is a three tops accelerator with a PoE power, so you can uh, do camera applications. Nice. And then this is what are the. Looking at here? Yeah, this is the um, Pipe Runner Envi by OKDo. Okay this is featuring the Nvidia Orin series. So right here is an 8x cluster featuring up to 800 trillion operations per second, all in one system. And that it sounds comes like a lot. It is a lot, and it's uh, nice to be able to go from pilot to production with one module up to eight. And it features a whole host of software that makes it easy to uh, deploy your models. Can we look at some of the more of the, the rock there? Uh, sure. Are you saying it's partner? What's up? Uh, uh, is it all one company or you yeah, have different? So, so OKDo is part of the RS group and uh, RS components that you may have heard. So it's a sister company that acts as uh, the kind of agile front end to do the single board computers. So you have colleagues working on the rock? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we get? Um, uh, let's see. You want to come in for talk about the rocks? Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we were looking at this one. This is the latest one. Yep. This is uh, on high demand. Yes, it is. A lot, of, a lot of people want to play with that one? Yes. Work with it? So it's uh, 4, 8, and 16 gigs of memory. And uh, it has some fantastic features. So 8K monitor support. So it's got like an 8K HDMI port yep. support. There's, there's more than one HDMI. So you can have 8K on one, you can have 4K on another. You can also have a dedicated uh, HDMI input. As well. Through the Type C. Type C, no, yeah. No, that's a, that's a micro HDMI. Yes. So you For can input. micro HDMI input. Input. 4K camera input direct. 4K 30, I guess. Yes. All yeah. right. At the and same time, and then you can capture that in Linux. You can capture the 4K source yeah. Yeah. or in Android or something. In Linux, I know, don't know about the Android. Yeah, three All right. different operating system choices between uh, Yocto and Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, they're very nicely supported. Yeah, I'd say so. The Rock family is becoming like the up and comer against uh, Raspberry Pi. You know, we we represent lots of boards, so we love them all. But uh, I think you're going to find that the Rock chip availability and the price point are what makes it stand out so powerfully. How many have you sold so far? I'm joking, but you don't have to say. But it's a lot. Are you able to supply to everybody who wants one? Yes, we are, uh, and the demand is high. The, um, I mean, it, people come to us for different functions on here around uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth modules that you can plug in through an M2. On the, on the back of the board, you've got a full-size uh, SSD slot for M2 as well. And then a EMMC module you can boot off, and those can be 8, 16, 32, 64. How much does it cost to add the Bluetooth Wi-Fi? It's not on? Uh, you can get them for, for, for six pounds, but you can buy better ones, and so you can use the very latest one for, I think, 10 pounds. Wi-Fi 6 and stuff Wi like that. Wi-Fi 6, I think, is 13 pounds. Maybe you get Matter also, and all this, whatever you want to play Matter with. Matter is a software download for uh, the existing RF transmitters that are on there. Nice. Uh, that's cool. And there's a Rock 4A right here. Rock 5A. Oh, 5A, sorry. So this is this is in production and we're selling this. This you're selling and yep. it looks bigger if you compare the size. So this this is the same form factor as a Raspberry Pi 4. Has the same ports as a Raspberry Pi 4, but this has a 3588 processor on. This is 3588S. Yes, S. The so only difference is no capture of the video, right? No 4K. Doesn't have a, doesn't, ha doesn't have a direct 4K input. 
Uh, functionally, I don't know how you would do it. You'd probably do it through USB to get the, the source in. It has the same GPU and the, the slightly different CPU on the board. And you also ship with different RAMs? This one will ship with different RAMs, 4, 8, and 16, and it will be available in April. And the 16 is not too expensive? Do you have prices on all these boards? Not off the top of my head. Okay, but maybe it's a great price for powerful boards. That's so, what you so, do. So this is, this is a very powerful for the price point and the, and the size, the form factor. Are we talking less than 100? So the 5B is 159 on the website, US. 159? Yep. Yeah, for that one right for there. For the 5B, yep. yeah. And that's with the maybe 8 gigabytes of RAM or something? Maybe. I think so. Yep. And then this one could be lower, right? It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be more affordable. Yeah, it is. It is. So the, 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 the most standard one people are buying now is the Rock 4, as you can see, available in stock, 69 US, very competitive to the Raspberry oh, wow. Pi and the others. That's the Rock 4 on the 4C plus net, yeah. 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 Nice. So the nice thing is while other boards are sort of stopping with the, the classic 3, 4 hierarchy, Rock is already moving on to 5. We got the AI boards, we've got NVIDIA Orin, so it's going to be a nice roadmap. Nice. Uh, Actually, there's a big community for these, right? Yeah. How big? Can you say? Is it tens of thousands of people? I think it's more than that if you think about the collective knowledge of like operating system hounds, right? So people usually kind of populate around an operating system and certain like tool chains and different like accessories. So there's a lot of overlap between say like a Raspberry Pi, Beagle, Rock, and so a lot of that knowledge is transferred pretty well. And you're going to see operating systems in general have so much support. Uh, that um, transferring from maybe your, uh, a different type of board to a rock is done with great ease. How good is uh, GPU acceleration in Linux? So I think that's a complicated question because it depends what you're doing. If you're talking about like uh, using Mali or something, I think people are more familiar with taking something like, uh, like NVIDIA Jetson, uh, or you can look at like the Orin class devices that we have. All right, so that's a work in progress, the whole pan frost drivers and everything, and the, or the, the talking blobs. talking about graphical people. acceleration, I think the support is quite good. If you're talking about AI, like neural processing, and that sort of thing, I think it's a different conversation. And you tend to go to devices that are more purpose-built, like the OKDo OK Pipe Runner RKAI board. All right, and behind you, there was a bunch of other boards up there, or? Yes. Yeah, so we're distributors for uh, so the Debix, which is an industrial, uh, industrial single board computer, again in a Raspberry Pi form factor, um, has great I/O, has great temperature ranges, and a strong processor and memory capabilities. But in a form factor that people are used to, and then we've got the uh, Asus. Yes, depends how you. The Tinker boards. And so different versions, different flavors of those. Why does Asus put such a big, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, cooler? Heat, heat sink and fan. Because they're used to doing Intel stuff. So they, they get over to the ARM too. But you don't necessarily need it, right? You can have uh, just run like this. And it's not going to get too hot. These raw no. chips, right? Yep. The raw chips do not require All right. Uh, so, what more you can show uh, you want to show here at your at your booth? What is the biggest topic that people want to talk with you I about? I think we should talk about your. Topic. Oh, sure, yeah. I think uh, AI is becoming a, a very uh, talked about conversation. We're at Embedded World, so there's a lot of boards with AI chips, right? But actually, what applications you can do with it is uh, is very tricky. So, what we're showing here is the uh, Nvidia Orin Pipe Runner. And with the software that comes with it, you'll see we're doing pose detection at 250 frames per second. The amazing thing about it is if you're familiar with AI computer vision, you end up wanting to look at OpenCV, GStreamer, DeepStream, a lot of complexity. So we're bundled the software that gives you the best of all that you'd want to try with, let's say, an NVIDIA stack, but you can do it graphically and enjoy it all from a web-based uh, experience. Cool. All right. And when you're looking at these uh, the, on, on the wall there, what is, what is running there? 
So this is uh, also showing the, the development kit for uh, Orin. So this goes from the AGX down to the um, Orin Nano. So you can emulate any of them. This is actually 275 trillion operations. Uh, but you really only buy this if you wanted to experience the maximum performance from like a development tool chain. Nice. And uh, stuff happening over here also? Ule. Yeah. We don't have much. Uh, yeah. Ule. Sorry, would you mind yeah. talking a little bit about this to uh, this nice gentleman? Yeah. All right. Cool, thanks. Sorry for interrupting. So, so what are you showing here on the wall? Over here, or here. Yeah. Right okay. there? Yeah. So what do you, what you want to hear? You yeah, want to so, do it like uh, you ask questions? So what do we so, see here? Okay. Yeah. What we see here is actually three different things. It's to showcase the prices you could win in our competition. This is a SDR Play, Software Defined Radio. It's a Quitec Ace Pro. It's a power analyzer. And it's a Picoscope. So it's an oscilloscope with uh, digital IOS as well. So if you go up here, the first window here you have up here, that is to show something what the power analyzer can do. So here we are just showing the output of it. That is uh, powering this uh, rock board who is down here. And we are seeing the voltage and we are seeing uh, the current over the time. The main feature of this is you can capture very precisely, very high definition, uh, the power envelope of what you say, exactly what's going on in the board. And you can share this and you can compare it and see if there's changes, if you're changing some hardware, changing software, and seeing how, what uh, it affects on your overall power envelope. The next window we have down here, some of it I could just try highlight it. Here, that is a Spectrum Analyzer app, who's running on the software defined radio. Right here I have it about the uh, ISM uh, band, uh, 886, just seeing what's going around and what you can see here is some of the free radio signals coming in. It's a super neat little uh, piece of software hardware to see what's going on in the area in the RS space. Um, and the last thing we have is just the overview of the Picoscope. I'm not... Uh, I'm not doing anything specific, I'm just taking the, the square signal are you, out. Are you like one. distributing? We are distributing and we are manufacturing. Right here, this one we are just distributing, but uh, we are also manufacturing the rock balls, we are manufacturing, uh, we have uh, in Denmark? NVIDIA. Uh, no. Or no, not in Denmark. No, so, but where, uh, so that's in manufactured in China, right? Yeah, it's manufactured in China and some and in UK as well. And so and we have different places. Do you distribute all over Europe or distribute global, all over global. worldwide distribution? Worldwide distribution. So you are okay, do? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. And uh, here's a bunch of Arduino. Here is just Arduino because we are not tied to one single. Uh, SPC, we try to have a broad range of things, whatever people would like and what we can see an idea in having in our offer. Cool, all right. Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. You're welcome, sir. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for Cheers. doing the tour. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, bye.